we'll start with Dan Rubin. Mike, uh, been asking uh, everyone so far. I noticed yesterday the the face shields um, that you guys are using in the um, in the on your mask on your face mask on the lower on the lower half too. Um, what was your first impression of those, and, and just how has it been working with those the first couple of days? Uh, well, the first time I put it on, I I kind of thought it was gonna be like, whoa, I don't know how we're gonna use these. But uh, as we got out there and we got running around, it's actually it's not as bad as as you originally thought. And uh, eventually, as you get through practice, you, you kind of forget that it's even there and, you, and you, you get used to used to playing with it. So I, I'd say after the first couple of days, it, I haven't had really had any issues with it and I'm getting pretty uh, comfortable with it. We'll go next to Andy Baxter. Hey, Mike. I know you've been with the group for a long time, even back in 2018. This was a secondary that a lot of guys or at least NFL talent or fringe NFL. What is your expectations for this group this time around? What do you see from, from you guys in the secondary? Uh, I think that, uh, I'm, like you mentioned, that, that group was a, it was a great group of guys back in 2018. It was, it was a pleasure to be around them and learn from them all. And we're, we've been fortunate to have quite a few guys that are with us now who are young guys um, with, around that group. So we still we still carry a lot of these same uh, things that they you know that those guys taught us and uh, our mantra is kind of just like why not us like why can't we be the same and and try to even you know be better so I think we're we're a really hungry group we're a really competitive group and and I, I really like uh, how we're coming together you know obviously with the addition of Coach Halfling coaches are Coach Turn they've all been great and they have taught us a lot in the little time that we been able to be around them. Uh, so I think that we have really high expectations of ourselves, and I think that we expect a lot from ourselves. We'll go next to Dan Rubin. Mike, uh, how difficult is it sometimes when you when you have to unwire an old system to come into a new system? I know you guys had those first few practices in the spring, but in, and even now through, through being able to work with the new coaches, it, oh, it's only the second day of training camp, but – What's that like uh, unwiring what you might have already known to, to learning how to do something new? Uh, a lot of it has to do with what you do outside of the, outside of the white lines. Like, you know, uh, in the meetings, uh, and even outside of meeting time, you have to kind of, it's a, like you said, uh, having to unwire. So you have to kind of reteach yourself everything. Um, and luckily it's still, it's still football. So it's not like you're going from like geometry to social studies, but but um, so it's still kind of the same, similar and stuff. It, it's a little difficult, but once you get the hang of it, it's it's um, it comes together pretty well and, and it starts to click. But you just have to spend a lot more time with it than you would going from the same system just to a new year. Thank you. We'll go back to Andy. Mike Brandon was talking about how it's been interesting going up against an offensive scheme that's a bit different, more NFL pro style. Would you say the same? And does that help you at an individual level too? If you want to make that jump to the next level eventually, just to, to get to see some things you might not have usually seen the past few years. Yeah, it's it's definitely been different uh, for sure. It's been fun though, uh, definitely. You know, it's been it's been a short time that we've gone up against it, but um, it's it's a little more challenging in practice because you like you said, we've seen some things that we haven't seen. Um, I think it, it would definitely help you from an individual standpoint because. Um, you know, your goal ultimately is to get to that next level and you'll, you'll see things that are similar to it. So it'll help you out in terms of you'll, you'll be a little bit more accustomed to what you'll be going up against at the next level. So I, I think it'll, it'll definitely help um, individually. Any other questions for Mike? All right, Mike, thank you.